All right, let's look at normalization and compression. So the idea with normalization is that you're bringing all the peaks down so that the file, the audio file doesn't peak anytime the file peaks, it causes distortion. So we don't want that. And then compression is, is a way of capturing the audio and pushing it forward so that it's nice and clean. So let's look at some options for those two uh, tools, normalization and compression. So we were working with this file and we're looking at amplitude. I'm going to select those two components and delete them. I'm going to go back to the waveform and in the waveform we're going to go up to favorites and we're going to choose normalize to three decibels. And so what that does is it pinches in the ends of the audio. Hello and welcome to and that's a big help. Now let's jump back into multi-track and let's look at some different ways to compress. So I'm going to click that button right there. Go to amplitude and compression. And the first is we're going to look at is a tube model compressor. And one, there's one in here called Vocal Attacker. For the Adobe Audition Chorus, this is your sample file or more. And I can be very helpful. Also, I can set this to default and edit the settings here. So I'm going to leave the release at 100. I'm going to take the attack and set that to two milliseconds. And then I want to set the threshold. And what I want to do here is I'm setting how loud I want the audio to get. It's not going to get any louder than what I said here. And remember that what we want to do is we don't, we want it to stay around a negative six decibels. So I'm going to set it to negative six, six decibels. Points that you will use to edit. My name is Alfred M. Williams. And there we go. We've gone in and we've normalized and compressed the audio and made it nice and clean.